This is a very basic example for conversion of unstructured data from text files to structured analyzable format. Before we proceed, we have a disclaimer. This example is for tackling the concept of text mining only. Uh, this method is not claimed to be the best at all. Uh, it is just a way to solve a hypothetical problem just for playing with uh, our text mining tools. This condition is known as hydrocephalus uh, or water in the brain. Uh, this is accumulation of the cerebrospinal fluid uh, causing uh, a condition known as hydrocephalus. This is a normal brain. This is how a normal brain should uh, look like. Um, now assume that you have a list of uh, free text reports, 1000 uh, MRI uh, reports, and the subject of matter experts ask you if you can detect cases uh, contain hydrocephalus or not. And he gives you these keywords. Uh, if there is no hydrocephalus, you might find keywords like no hydrocephalus or hydrocephalus absent. If there is a hydrocephalus present, you might find words like hydrocephalic uh, changes or hydrocephalus uh, uh, present. Uh, again, there is another disclaimer that this uh, keywords might be inaccurate and impractical. This is just for clarification and demonstration only. So before we start uh, working on this example, we need to know some vocabulary. What is an engram? Engram is basically a set of co-occurring words within a given window. And uh, when computing the engrams, you typically move one word forward. So to clarify the meaning of this definition, let's have this sentence, the man jumps over the fence. Uh, if you have one uh, uh, n equals one, then the n-gram will be called unigram. And at this, uh, in this case, you will separate as uh, the man jumps over the fence. If n equals two, then your uh, your software will separate into bigram. So uh, the man man jumps jumps over over the and the fence and again it's like a window that moves the window is now on this uh, area now it moves from here to here by one word uh, it is now man jumps again and then it moves again and again and again if n equals three it is a trigram and uh, uh, here we will say the man jumps man jumps over jumps over the and over uh, the fence so in our case um, for no hydrocephalus hydrocephalus absent hydrocephalic changes hydrocephalus present uh, n equals what of course it's clear that n equals two and we will use in our example we will use a, a, a bigram so what is stemming Stemming is used as an approximate method for grouping words with similar basic meaning together. So like cat, cat-like and catty will uh, be stemmed to cat. Uh, argue, argued, argues, arguing will be stemmed to argue. Um, and this is useful because um, there is, um, um, for example, if you say, if you see uh, the word abnormal signal or abnormal signals, uh, it will not take uh, two records. It will not. Uh, this might be uh, a redundancy of uh, of data. So uh, when you have, whenever you have a plural uh, of signals, uh, it will be stemmed to signal, and that's uh, uh, how you will calculate uh, the term frequency more accurately. Um, Wika is a collection of uh, machine uh, learning algorithms. Uh, for data mining tasks written in Java and we use library uh, R uh, Wika uh, to, uh, 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 to to use this uh, uh, algorithms inside uh, our R program. So tokenization is a process of breaking a, st uh, a stream of text into words, phrases, symbols or other meaningful elements called tokens. So uh, for example our example here uh, this uh, uh, not this one this might be considered as tokens and um, list of tokens become the input for further processing as we will see in our example a corpus is collection of text documents 
uh, and finally the term document matrix uh, it is called also document term matrix which is a mathematical matrix that describes the frequency of terms that occur in a collection of documents and we have here an exercise assume first document is I like databases and the second document the second document is I hate uh, databases uh, then the document matrix will be uh, let's solve it together I is present in D1 and D2 so uh, we will write uh, the frequency what happens one in D1 and one in D2 uh, I like is present in D1 but it is absent in D2 um, hate is absent in D1 but present in D2 and databases finally uh, occurs in both uh, documents so let's see how it works in R so the first step is uh, to load our uh, uh, needed uh, packages here we will uh, load these four packages um, library tm here is uh, the text mining uh, package uh, and again our wika is an interface for uh, wika and uh, snowball uh, is used for uh, stemming uh, we will not work with 1000 reports we will work only with uh, five dummy mri reports uh, we will read it into uh, um, these objects now we will uh, uh, store these documents uh, into a list and uh, we will count the number of documents in the list and uh, name the documents uh, uh, by using this function paste zero and we will add doc plus the number of documents and here uh, we use the concatenate or c function to uh, clarify that numbers from one to uh, number of documents um, now before we cre can create a corpus we have to create a vector source so we use function vector source uh, and uh, we input our uh, document list and uh, we give uh, name attributes uh, to this uh, vector source uh, from the vector source we can uh, create uh, our corpus we will uh, use a function corpus and uh, let's have a look um, this is our corpus here five documents um, we have we, we can use this command to uh, look inside our uh, corpus uh, because it converts this command converts um, the corpus into a data frame let's have a look So here, here is of course a truncated uh, uh, um, text, uh, but this is our five dummy reports uh, with a lot of uh, things that need to be cleaned. Um, and we can take a look uh, on the console how it looks like. As we see again, it uh, needs, needs a lot of cleaning. Okay, to start cleaning, we uh, we will remove uh, anything that is not alphanumerical, symbol or space. Uh, we will uh, create a simple function. We will call this function uh, remove uh, special characters or remove special cards. And uh, we use regular expression. And we implement uh, or apply this function uh, on our corpus, my docs using tm map function um, then we uh, uh, convert all uh, cases to lower case and remove punctuation and remove stop words um, if you don't know what stop words are stop words I will run this function to see it these are stop words that uh, is filling the text um, and uh, this function remove these stop words uh, also we remove uh, strip out uh, white uh, spaces and uh, finally we stem our documents we use stemming so now we can uh, have a look uh, at our uh, corpus again let's uh, uh, convert it to a data frame 
and look at it you can see now it's much cleaner and again uh, still truncated but there are no uh, um, symbols no uh, question marks and no uh, punctuation uh, these are uh, for truncation of the text not they are not uh, punctuation Again, for demonstration purposes, I uh, I want to show you how to read a data frame into uh, uh, um, uh, how to convert a data frame into a corpus. So let's uh, uh, create a data frame. We call it uh, DD or DF. DF. Uh, we give ID from 10 to 14. We can give any sequence of five numbers. Um, it is uh, uh, 10 to 14 is uh, five numbers. Uh, just to give an ID for uh, the text uh, documents and uh, we use a function read tabular because it is uh, um, useful for reading from data frames and you can uh, uh, create uh, our corpus but here we need to change this to df not dd uh, we can create our corpus uh, Now we want uh, to, to create a bigram and we, we, we need to uh, create a tokenizer our tokenizer here uh, uh, will use a minimum of two uh, words and maximum of two uh, words so we will have uh, two words phrases and we clarified earlier why do we need a bigram because we have uh, uh, to implement uh, or to solve our problem that the SME uh, or subject of matter expert has given us uh, we need to look for uh, bigrams in our data so to know how uh, uh, our uh, tokens uh, look like we can uh, look at the first six uh, of them uh, for example, this is brain MRI, C brain. Some again, this is dummy report, so you might find some uh, meaningless data. Uh, but this is just again to clarify the concept. We have um, I here I used head. If I don't use head, I will have uh, uh, thousands of results. So uh, let's proceed. Uh, now I need to create the document term matrix using uh, my tokenizer. So. I will use uh, the function uh, term document matrix and I will put inside my corpus here and uh, I put my control as my tokenizer function and uh, to look inside our uh, term document matrix let's uh, uh, use inspect function so uh, now we can see um, that for example maximum term length is 37 uh, you can see that there are uh, 13 about 1300 terms in five documents you can see a sample of the matrix and here is uh, document number 10 11 uh, 12 13 and 14 and here are uh, some terms again this is just a sample uh, that uh, inspect function is showing to us now we can convert our term document matrix to uh, um, a data frame let's call it uh, bigram data frame from this data frame we can uh, get our keywords and store my keywords again as data frame why i'm doing this because i can now go to uh, my keywords here and you see there is uh, again 1300 uh, terms uh, so I can search for hydrocephalus and I see here uh, the keywords that contain uh, uh, hydrocephalus um, this is hydrocephalic changes uh, stemmed to hydrocephal and change uh, so I can uh, use this one as my first keyword and uh, I can paste it here um, and let's look for another keyword um, let's choose uh, obstruct hydro hydrocephalus it's obstructive hydrocephalus but again it is stemmed 
and let's this use this as a second keyword and let's delete the third keyword so now uh, we can start filtration our first filtration will be on the uh, uh, term document matrix level so I will use this uh, subsetting uh, command here uh, to uh, get a filtered uh, document term uh, matrix and uh, let's look inside it using inspect as we see here uh, document number 12 contain hydrocephalic changes and obstructive hydrocephalus document number 13 contain hydrocephalic changes and obstructive hydrocephalus while 14 11 and 10 uh, do not have this of course you can uh, use uh, many keywords uh, uh, and this is for of course for hydrocephalus you can search for many other keywords you can use a unigram a trigram uh, until you get your uh, structure data uh, ready uh, for uh, for use um, you can also uh, filter uh, on the data frame level using uh, the uh, bigram data frame and again putting the keywords that we choose instead of these keywords dummy keywords here and we can uh, run to get a filtered uh, bigram data frame you can look uh, at the data frame here uh, it is the same result you can also write uh, use a function write to uh, csv file uh, write.csv function to uh, export uh, your uh, final output.